the Archbishop of Bamenda, His Grace Andrew Fuanyankia, has celebrated the dignity of the work of bike riders in Bamenda Archdiocese. The event took place Saturday, 31st December 2022, beginning with a Thanksgiving Holy Mass at the St. Joseph's Metropolitan Cathedral Big Mancon, presided by the Chief Shepherd. The second edition of the annual celebration brought together a good number of bike riders drawn from Bamenda 1, 2 and 3 municipalities of Mezam Division, Northwest region of Cameroon. Some family members, friends and well-wishers of the bike riders, among them the chief of Sase village, His Royal Highness King Ebel Mukeke Nzive and Mr. Joseph Mubang, son of the Northwest region but based in the United States of America, witnessed the event for their first time. In his homily, His Grace Andrew Nkia thanked the bike riders for their valuable services they render daily to transport people to and fro their various destinations. He also used the opportunity to thank them for the pilgrimage they made on November 12, 2022 to the Our Lady of Fatima Queen of Peace Shrine Abango, during which they jointly prayed for peace to return to the Northwest and Southwest regions because of the ongoing armed conflict in this part of Cameroon. Initially celebrated annually on December 31st, His Grace officially announced that Henceforth, St. Columbanus will be the patron saint of bike riders in Bamenda Archdiocese, and their feast day is 23rd November. He then exhorted all the bike riders to always pray for the intercession of their patron saint, St. Columbanus, for their safety. The bike riders also joined their Archbishop to thank God for blessing them throughout the year 2022 and to beg God for continuous blessing and protection. For all the bike riders in the Archdiocese of Bamina, that God may bless and protect from any harm. Lord hear us. For the families of all the bike riders, that God may touch our hearts. As we start a new year 2023, to look up to him as our source of strength, may he bless us as we labor daily to feed our families. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. For all whose spirit are crushed, that the Holy Spirit might warm our hearts with his love and that an immediate satisfactory and lasting solution might be provided to heal the wounds of the ongoing sociopolitical crisis. Harvesting our church province, Lord hear us. The bike riders, in a special way, expressed thanks to God in a special offertory procession in cash according to their various municipality, beginning with Bamenda 1.
announced the final blessing, the Archbishop announced a special donation by Mr. Joseph Muban, who offered over 100 helmets to each of the bike riders who took part in the Thanksgiving Holy Mass. I will introduce Una, two people for this church. And I will tell Una, Una no worry for know their name. Una only, I'll tell Una for call them. The first one, the name na Mr. Joseph Muban. We will not know call him say Mr. Joseph Muban. We'll just call him say Pajo. Say wait. Pajo stand up. Pajo, not the state for here. He the state for America. But Pajo, the body for Bamenda here. He grow for Bamenda here. And every three months. He did come by that. Pajo came to my house yesterday. I tell Pajo, say, I get mass today with Okada riders. Pajo talk for me, say, he get to be for that mass. Pajo, one come. As he been telling me yesterday, he don't bring me 100 helmets. The helmets were blessed by the Archbishop and offered to each of the bike riders. Holy Father, we ask you to bless these helmets and through the intercession of St. Romanus, protect all those who wear them from untimely accidents and bring them safely to every destination that they embark on every day through Christ our Lord. Amen. The visibly satisfied beneficiaries express gratitude to God for their various gifts. On his part, the chief of Sassi donated a modern handicap tricycle to one of the Christians who attended the Mass with a cash prize of 50,000 francs for his New Year Day celebration. On behalf of the bike riders, the Bamenda Ash the Sun Bike Riders Chaplain, Reverend Father Ignatius Berili, thank the Archbishop and their benefactors for celebrating with them in a special way. I wish to say thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing us to pray with us and pray for us. Thank you for the soul such a homily you have given to us. Thank you for giving us a last. Patron sent, a patron sent, our own patron sent, sent for the fans. Liturgical singing was well done by one of the choirs in Regina Parches Parish in Damukong, by a legendary of Bamenda Ash Diocese.
aftermath, the bike riders and their various bikes were all blessed by the Archbishop, during which he called on all the bike riders to collaborate and pray for peace in the northwest and southwest regions. Just now, we don't come for the moment for blessed with bikes, for call on God in power, make it come down for all the bikes we'll get here. We don't give on our helmets, and we shall say from this moment, we will use this with helmets for make sure say we be safe and say the people who they carry for bike, them too they will be safe. We will continue for prayer and we will continue to collaborate together so that we make peace and we will return for the northwest region so that we feel the carry people them again, we will not the fear, we will turn for inside town, we will not get disturbance. That one will beg God. I will surrender all to for a hand. So just now we'll go pray. Speaking to the press, His Grace Andrew Kia reiterated the specific objectives of a Thanksgiving Mass with bike riders in Bamenda Archdiocese. The bike riders in the Archdiocese of Bamenda are people who are committed to their work and uh, people misunderstand them a lot in society. And so we call a Mass for them to celebrate the dignity of their work and to make them know that they are very important people in the society, especially in collaborating to maintain peace and harmony. And so when we call them together, we pray for them, we pray together, and we bless their bikes, asking God to strengthen them in their work, and at the same time, to help them in living together and maintaining peace in their community. This is the main reason why we call for this Mass every year on the 31st of December. But this year was a bit special because through the instrumentality of uh, one of our benefactors, uh, Mr. Joe Mubang here and uh, Chief Abel Ndive from Sase, we have been able to give helmets to all the bike riders. And it's a scheme that I'm really interested in, that in the next two, three years, all the bike riders of Bamenda must ride with helmets. And this will help them to protect their lives and the lives of their passengers. I wish all the people of Bamenda Archdiocese, the Northwest region, a very, very happy new year. This year has passed with a lot of uh, ups and downs, but it's our hope that this 2023 will see a more peaceful year, a more prosperous year for all the people of the Northwest region and especially of the Archdiocese of Bamenda. Mr. Joseph Mubang, who donated the helmet, explained what motivated him to carry out such a gesture. I'm from a culture that it is 
compulsory to put on a helmet when you ride a bike. In the United States of America, it is totally forbidden. Nobody is allowed to climb on a bike without a helmet. The reason being that when you have an accident, you hit your head, the chances of you surviving is almost zero. But if you were to sprain one of your bones, it can be repaired. If you were to have any scratches in your body, it can be fixed. But with your head, it is so important, it's absolutely important for every biker and their passengers to put on a helmet. That is why when His Grace Bishop Nkia suggested to me to attend this Mass, I talked by contributing helmets to all the bikers. I was giving back to my own community. I was giving back something to my own society. I am from Bamenda. I am a son of the soil. Whenever I visit, I always think about the people. But I think about the common man, the man of the Panganimas, the man that people might think are useless. To me, they are very useful because by transporting people to and from their appointments, to and from their emergency situations, they are providing a service that is valuable. Everybody is God's child and everybody is valuable in their own field. It is their call to be motorbike riders. They are providing a service to the community. They are providing a service to humanity and I will keep helping them until I reach a point where by next year, when I come back, I'll make sure that they have jackets, protective jackets. I'll make sure that these bike riders are self-sufficient in terms of they will have the basics. If they have a headache, if they are sick, I have a center. They can come there for free medication. They can come for free checkups. We should put value to what they do. It is worth mentioning that the maiden edition of Archbishop Mass with Bike Riders was on Friday, 31st December 2021. The second edition, December 31st, 2022, just like the previous one, ended with the Archbishop being accompanied on a bike from the Cathedral Church to his house by all the bike riders, where they once more received his Episcopal blessings. Thank God we, we don't make this day pass fine. Last year, we will give some food items and we will give cow. And we still say that it will cause problem. Yes, yes, yes. Now you talk say this time, my helmet. Any man will get a helmet and say, and the people will say, all the people that don't get helmets, maybe we will not do everything possible for the use of a helmet. We will not go to town and not get helmet. I want you to make when I walk to get dignity. I will go talk say with the start small small. Because one time say me all bike riders they wear helmets. And after that, we will make sales, we will give a second round so that make the bike rider, their passenger, they too they wear helmet. <laughs> so that all man will get their helmet, plus one for your hand way. Anyone want to climb for your bike, you give. Say put on your head. Don't bring me problem. <laughs> so now so it could be. We just beg all man say, now so we don't do work, we we'll now go back quietly. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you now and forever and ever. Amen. Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year to everybody.